Welcome to another edition of Great Health, Abundant Happiness, and Outrageous Love. Mwah. We haven't done a video in a while. We have not. I really missed it. Yeah. So we got we to pick up the pace here so we'll get some more out. But we've been, we've been busy doing other things and focusing on living life. We actually took some nice uh, road trips. So we've, we've got a lot to share, too, from the road. But we right. want to talk a little bit about cherishing time today from the book, right? Exactly. And that is one of the reasons that we haven't been putting out videos um, we're sort of committing to not rushing not trying to get everything done uh, not in in one day instead trying to enjoy what it is that we are doing in a given day so we did some traveling through Yellowstone and we really wanted to focus solely on that experience and if we were trying to do videos at the same time and work at the same time and all of the other things, you know, our writing at the same time, we just wouldn't have the brain capacity to be in the moment of Yellowstone and it would have been a different experience. Sure, right? right, yeah. That's so we absorbed it. Exactly. And so, um, what do you, got you know, pre-COVID, uh, People were getting up, and, and I don't know if people are still doing this. I don't think that they are. I think this is one of the gifts and the blessings. Well, I think it's um, uh, this, this the one thing that, that's taught us this whole lockdown is maybe live in the moment a little more, you know, experience more time in your backyard, wherever it is, wherever right? you are, right? Whether it's on a, you know, on a, on a balcony with some flowers in New York City uh -huh. or if you're uh, out in Colorado where you have a lot more space but either way it's it's the same thing you're focused on exactly what's right there in your midst right. right and for those who have dogs I know that people are enjoying walking their dog more so again pre-COVID you know people would wake up start the day rushing to get ready to go to work or rushing to walk the dog you know, to get back in so that you could get dressed to go to work or rush to have your breakfast and, you know, maybe finish half of it, throw the dishes in the sink and, and leave them there and then, you know, not feeling complete because you're leaving, you know, wasted food and, and not getting the right nu nutrients because you haven't given yourself the right amount of time. We're just rushing, rushing, rushing. And, you know, each new dawn is a gift. And I think that is one of the true blessings that has come out of this um, time that we're experiencing is we're not rushing to get anywhere right now, right? And you know, we shouldn't be complaining that we have to stay in or that, you know, I mean, we're standing outside and throughout this entire um, pandemic, you and I have managed to get outside in private areas and do some hiking. I know that's not possible for everyone. Um, you know, our, our daughter lives in the city and she's not able to do that there. But guess what? They were able to get into their car and drive places where nobody else was. Mm -hmm. And they actually came here for a couple of months as well. So the point is that, you know, we really need to look at the blessing of each new day as a gift and realize that, you know, pre-COVID, we were rushing around all over the place. Yeah. Rushing to get our kids uh, to school, rushing to pick them up from school so we could get them to their next activity. Then rushing to pick them up from that activity so we could get them home fed so that we, we could rush them to get their homework done and then rush them to shower and get to bed. I mean, and the day's over and you haven't enjoyed it. Yeah. And it's, it's a shame because we know all too well that life is very, very short. Yeah, I just I was just having a conversation with one of our guys at OTG that you know this this is this time is really taking me back a bit. We've we've talked about this before in videos. Live in your life through childlike eyes, but you know when you were a kid, you would get up and and find fun in whatever you had in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, you know whether it be um, you know the flowers that are sprouting up or uh, you know dandelions or the river building a dam or whatever it was tree houses all that kind of stuff you know I've, I've learned to really look at things more closely and really see it for the miracle that it is you know mm -hmm. Albert Einstein said there's two types of people in this world those that uh, don't believe anything's a miracle and those that look at everything as a miracle if you can kind of look at everything around you as a miracle um, again through those childlike eyes 
uh, you tend to really enjoy not only the day, but the hours and the minutes and the seconds more so, those moments and live in that moment. Exactly, right? exactly. And that's, that's such a gift and such a blessing and something that we can all be really grateful for. And I think it's, it's something that, that every individual has that, um, that power and that ability to appreciate uh, the gift of, of today and not rushing, um, you know, to not rushing through the day to get to the next day to enjoy this moment. Exactly. Wishing you great health, abundant happiness, and outrageous love from Copper Mountain. Thanks, guys. Go ahead and uh, give us a click off and, and like and subscribe if you can. Appreciate it. See ya.